What's up, everybody? I'm here to do a um new segment thing here on YouTube. I'm gonna try out for a little bit and see how it works out. Um, called Legendary Directors, and these are not necessarily legendary yet, but directors that I and you know I like the movies and I think they'll uh, you know be legends one day or are headed there. And I'll probably do some of Legendary Directors like um. And these are directors all the way from horror to action to drama to comedy to pretty much any director that I like. I'll go ahead and throw in here and just talk about, um, you know, just something new to try. Alright guys, <coughs> so the uh, director that I am um, going on today, I only have two of us done. But I've seen more than two. <laughs> okay, so... um. The director I'm going on today is Christopher Nolan, who directed Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. Alright, um, some of his other films here, I have them pulled up so I don't get anything wrong for you. Uh, he directed a movie called Following in 1999, which I've never heard of. He then directed a movie called Memento in 2001, which uh, I have heard of and I hope to see really soon. Because it sounds very interesting. I heard it was confusing, but um, I can't wait to watch it. Uh, I gotta get it for my friend. <clears throat> he also did a movie called Insomnia, which, if I'm not mistaken, is yep, is the one starring Al Pacino and uh, Robin Williams. Um, oh, that was produced by George Clooney. He didn't know that. But uh, yeah, that was a pretty good movie. Uh, then he directed Batman Begins. Uh, then he directed a movie called The Prestige with uh, Christian Bale. Um. Hugh Jackman, Michael Caine, David Bowie, and Scarlett Johansson. So there you go. Um, and after The Prestige, he directed uh, The Dark Knight. And he has a movie coming out in 2010 called Inception. Um, and it is going to be a science fiction movie. And it's supposed to come out in July 16th, so it'll be a summer blockbuster. But it has Leonardo DiCaprio and Joseph Gordon Levitt in it, which is really cool. Uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt is the guy that played in 10 Things I Hate About You. He also played in a movie called Brick, uh, The Lookout. He's been in a few films. But uh, yeah, so Inception, I've never heard of that until just now. Um, producer credits he has are Following, The Prestige, The Dark Knight, and Inception. Writing credits, following Memento, Batman Begins, The Prestige, The Dark Knight, and Inception. So pretty much just all his own movies he's worked on. You know, hadn't worked on anything outside those. So yeah, I'll go ahead and talk about the uh, ones I have seen. Um, his best. I won't. I won't talk about them all. I'll just. Uh, I'll say his best one. Uh, his best film to me is The Dark Knight. Um, because that is just one of my favorite movies of all time. It is definitely my top five uh, favorite films. Uh, it's probably my favorite action film, uh, that of 300, but, um, yeah, so, that's just an, this is an awesome movie, I'm freaking, you guys don't know how happy I am to finally have upgraded this 2 disc Special Edition, I've been planning on getting the 2 disc Special Edition for as long as I can remember, like, right after I saw the movie in theaters, I said I was getting the 2 disc Special Edition, got the 1 disc for Christmas, the only reason I actually opened it was because it came with, uh, this uh, two-faced coin, which is really cool, and it came with um, a comic book for The Dark Knight, um, which is really cool because I like comic books. But uh, yeah, so that's the only reason I did that, but I then traded in, got a two-disc version, as you guys know, and I'm going to do a review on this uh, very, very soon. I'll do a review on both these, and I'll also do a review of the older Batman films once I get them, and I'm going to get them very soon. So yeah, but anyway, I've babbled enough about Batman. So my favorite film he's done is The Dark Knight. Second favorite would have to be Batman Begins, then The Prestige. All right. So let's see how many. Movies. He's directed seven, so my top five would be Dark Knight, Batman Begins, Prestige. I guess then Insomnia and Memento since those are the only two that I actually heard of. 
haven't heard of the following. So there you go, guys. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going with this. I just wanted to kind of try to start this off. Um, so if you guys have any ideas on what to do to make this any better, let me know. Um, <clears throat> because I'm really not sure where to go from this. Uh, I picked the director with not too many films out. Uh, which uh, I do believe he will be a legendary director one day, uh, just based on the fact alone that these two films are amazing. Uh, the Prestige is a really good film. So, I mean, you know, I don't know. I do think he's going to be a legendary director one day, and he will be referenced a lot. But, um, you know, we'll see. So, um, thanks for watching. If there's anything I can do to make this series better, let me know. Let me know what else I can talk about about the director, you know. But, uh, yeah, so just wanted to... Pretty much the point of this was to tell you guys, Christopher Nolan is one of my favorite directors. Rec tell you the movies he's done, recommend the recommend the ones I liked. So then you guys, just in case you didn't know, now you know, and so you can um go check out his stuff too. And I'll try to have one of these up really soon again because there's a few directors I already have in mind. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.